KFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently, of all the U.S. indices that we track, trading to the upside. The Dow is up 373 points, a little over 1%. S&P 1 and a quarter percent, or 52 points. NASDAQ 101 and 2 tenths percent, 149 points. Russell 2000, a half a percent, nine points there. The semi is about a half a percent, six tenths, really. 17 points to the upside. Gold's off 16 bucks. That's nine tenths. Silver's down a quarter of a percentage. That's uh, six pennies out there. Lights recruit is off 65 cents. Um, you've got natural gas up 22 pennies. The 30-year treasury trade out at 141.29. That's off uh, 17 ticks out there. Let's go take a look at our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at the ES Mini. That's in the upper left-hand corner. What do we know about it? Well, one, yesterday, price closed below the bottom of its weekly profile. And that's a level to be watching come Friday. That's at the 40... Where is that? That is at 41.89. Price also closed below its TD9 count breakout level. That's a daily uh, TD9 count breakout. So that suggests lower price. Now, there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. A bullish reversal candle would generate A by the D point. Spot volatility next, next panel. That's still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That's always problematic for the S&P 500, the ES mini. The NASDAQ, and in this, I've got to figure this out because on one system, I've got the NASDAQ closing below the lows from... Uh, the lows for March the uh, 14th, 15th, that is. And that was a Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom. But now on this set of charts here, it shows that it's held. But it, it just may be the synthetic symbol that I'm using here. So I'll, I'll try to get that figured out during the uh, quick break between the uh, 1 o'clock update and the show out there. Nonetheless, uh, if we take a look at what the NQ also has an A to B equals CD to the downside. So really a bullish reversal candle would confirm A by the D point. The uh, U.S. dollar index um, that is trading higher. I can't recall if uh, I believe we're going to have a TD nine count pattern. That should complete between today and Friday out there. Gold is uh, failing to hold its TD9 count breakout level at 1895.60. The next level of support for it would be down at the 1873.30 level. That is the bottom of its weekly profile. Silver is holding its breakout level. That's at 23.48. It has an A to B equals CD to the downside. Bullish reversal candle would also confirm a currently buy pattern here. Lights week crew just traded between trend line resistance and trend line support. Natural gas finding resistance at the top of its daily profile, seven dollars and twenty three cents. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed show. You're off to start for Wednesday. You have a wonderful one. Thanks again for joining. The reality.